public, the public empire. What's the difference? The systematic termination of the Jedi. I was wondering when you guys would come back. What does one wear to go wedding dress shopping? I'm asking what do I wear to go wedding dress shopping? Did you do the back? is here in town. Hi. We are going to go wedding dress shopping. We're just going to one spot. The but beginning of many. I hope not. I do too. God. Do you remember where you got your wedding dress? No, Auntie Gail bought it for me. Oh really? I don't think I had anything to do with my wedding other than showing up. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking about this dress. I'm thinking, no, nope, just something white. Not even white. You can pick blush. Anything. Because it is what it is. It's a little Hawaii wedding. And well, what Do you like lace? Do you like no, satin? No, I, I don't like lace. And I don't like satin. I think... Um, I think... What is left? Okay, well, this we're in for an adventure then. Because I don't either. really have a clue. <laughs> I guess we'll just be trying on shapes. I think so. I think that's good. And today. I don't need to have that princess. Yeah, no. Those, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. No. I guess no. we'll see. So we're going to Kingsley James Couture, I think. My girlfriend Laura got her dress there. Oh. Um, that's the only reason why I found this place. Um, but it's basically just this place. And then there's another place called Sarah Seven that I really want to go to. Uh, but they're they're booked until next week, so you'll be gone. But my girlfriend Amanda will be coming with me. But yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. did you think? Well, I love the veil. <laughs> and my first choice is Twiggy, but that's my generation. Um, some of those dresses, $18,000. Yikes. The ones you picked were lovely. And I think you'll, I think you'll find what you need. I do. Yeah, so we tried a whole bunch of dresses. We. We. <laughs> <laughs> tried a whole bunch of dresses on. Um, and I just ended up leaning towards more of the like classic, kind of like old Hollywood, I think so. I really do. Yeah. type of, um, I guess, looks. The my favorite one, Allegra, was the most affordable, which didn't go into my thought process. I mean, my thought process, oh, like wow. into me liking it, but I just like the shape. But it was the most affordable at twenty three hundred, which is cheap and Mom's expensive. Uh, Twiggy that she liked was 30 it's 33 yeah it's like 3300 oh. and the veil mom likes is 950 I'm buying the veil regardless so I found my veil that's she found what, her veil that's what today she came found from. her veil so I have another appointment I don't want to go dress shopping a lot I have one more appointment at another place next I guess maybe, yeah, next week. And then I scheduled a second appointment them there 
in two weeks just to like retry them on and then from there I'll choose. So that's it. It'll be a pretty fast process. I think so. We're back in the closet. No breakdown. Come on, Luki. But I don't want Brian hearing. So, hmm. the whole dress experience to me, like I understand it's a big deal, but I don't like feel like it is. So, you know, I definitely did like, I really liked one dress, looking back at pictures, the one my mom liked. I don't really love, I don't think I'm gonna go with it. But I just think it's a, a really interesting experience. I feel like just personally as well, like personality wise, I am, it takes a lot for me to show any amusement. I'm a very like, unemotional person for the most part especially in situations where like people are expecting you to like you know what i'm saying and i just like was not that person i realized that i was very unimpressed with wedding dresses in my first round i just like the lace is not me i really honestly was not opposed to trying on lace because actually like Hailey bieber's wedding dress is just gorgeous to me but it's not my style and you know i just also want to be comfortable i don't know i would say for the first time trying on a wedding dress as an engaged person finding like two and a half dresses that i liked a good success and also trying on dresses is very exhausting i don't like try on clothes i just don't do that anymore i'll order it and then if it doesn't fit i'll return it but like trying on dresses is really exhausting so that's another reason why i don't want to spend too much too much time on this because it's just not something that is enjoyable for me finding a caterer eating cake yes that is enjoyable to me i will spend a, the next 365 days finding a caterer that i like but a wedding dress not so much Luki, why are you in the closet with me <laughs> he says get me out of the closet you came in here buddy This adulting video is getting very intense for me, actually. So um, the other day I had my, I had lunch with my girlfriend, Rachel Ree, you might be following her on social, who has been very, very vocal about, you know, her egg freezing journey. I actually had her on my podcast when my podcast was still a thing. And she was like so open about, you know, the emotional, physical, and financial toll of something like that. So I really appreciate her honesty. And as myself and my friends enter our mid to late 30s, I'm 34 now, I'm going to be 35 in January. Um, most of us without ch children, this is actually a conversation that my girlfriends and I have been having more consistently. While I'm not ready to have kids right now, and I'm not ready to kind of dive into the egg freezing conversation, I do need to kind of figure out where I am health wise. And this is a reality I've been running from for a really, really long time because honestly, the answer scares me. Kind of like that feeling I had when I was ignoring my debt, the answer and the reality scares me. Um, because what if I've missed my chance? You know, that's, that's really difficult. And especially, like I said, I'm not ready to have one immediately right now. So how much longer do I have? And what are my chances as I wait a couple more years? But it seems like the universe is forcing me to <laughs> confront this reality of where I am because this video is sponsored by Modern Fertility. <laughs> So Modern Fertility makes personalized fertility information and support more accessible for people with ovaries. Um, so I have the at-home test, which I'm actually gonna take in a little bit, but they also have other tools. Like I was just online um, looking at the timeline tool to help people be more proactive 
about their reproductive health. So this is the at-home test. You take it, you do it yourself, you send it, and you get your results within 10 days. Obviously, this video is going to end before I get my results, but when I receive the results and if I feel like sharing the results, I will do so in my monthly budget overview. I didn't know this, but proactive hormone tests are actually often not covered by health insurance and can cost upwards of $1,500. But Modern Fertility is only $159, and you can use your FSA or your HSA, which I know a lot of you are saving in an HSA, so this could be a tool for you. So whether you want kids now or in the future, give me, please, give me a couple more years. You can use the Modern Fertility results and resources to map things out. So if you want to learn more or if you want to order a test, head over to modernfertility.com slash asiadang or click the link below and get $20 off your order. So I have to register my test and it has like a walkthrough of the sample collection. If you are not on hormonal birth control, test on day three of your period. Oh, okay, see, I'm learning something new. I actually can't take this test today because it says that if you're not on hormonal birth control, which I am not, you have to test on day three of your period and fill two cards. And it says to ship your sample within 24 hours using the prepaid return envelope. Okay, got it. This was actually very helpful. Again, glad I read the instructions because I normally don't read instructions and I would have just wasted a test. My next period isn't gonna start till the end of the month. So I still have about two weeks left until my next period. So I guess I have to wait two weeks to get this done, but hmm, I'm a little nervous looking at it, but I just know that like it's a reality I have to confront sooner rather than later because um, things might timelines might have to move up if things aren't <laughs> looking too good for me well this is an intense thought isn't it hey everyone Ooh, what is this hair Ooh. so this video i was actually planning to um end this video by combining the finances of brian and i but i realized i actually don't really know how to do that so i would love kind of your help and guidance if you have done this with your partner what the best way forward was for you i've given him a couple years i've tried to teach him a few things but the boy is just not getting his shit together quick enough poor moi so sis is taking over so this is what i was thinking we would each have still have our individual accounts but we would have one joint account um and then i would just kind of disperse the money maybe do um maybe put like 30 percent of our income in that joint account and then the rest will go towards you know brian's retirement which he hasn't started yet so that's something i need to start for him or like other things um like other financial goals as well and then my finances will pretty much be the same because your girl got her shit together um but including kind of maybe like a percentage that we both bring in into a joint account so that's why it's not based on a financial amount because at the moment while we have had the same uh, incomes for the past couple years, since the dance industry is still on a hold for the past almost two years, we currently do not have the same income. I make more than him. So that way I think basing, off, basing our joint account off of percentages versus a set amount will make the amount we both contribute equal based on our income. So that's what I'm thinking. So again, we'll have one joint account, but we will have separate, our individual separate accounts that we can just play around with and do whatever with. But yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. I would love to know how you all are doing it. Is it just easier to have one account? You know, I don't, see, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I really don't know what I'm talking about. The only friend that I've talked to, Laura, who's like married and has a kid, they have a joint account and that works for them but i don't know if that would work for us 
they only have one account between the both of them so i don't know i feel like have keeping our account separate give, still gives us like anonymity in spending you know what i'm saying so that's that's my thought process and then also i'm trying to get him out of bank of america that's actually the first thing i know that i need to do is get him out of bank of america because they suck and then also we can just it'll just be easier for me to transfer funds if we're all in in one bank and yes i'm still in chase and i know i know it's i've been talking about getting out of chase for years but since i don't know where we're gonna live i i don't want to pull the trigger and move all of my money into like a bank of the west which is what i really want to go into but they don't have one in like Texas or if we move someplace else. So I'm just really trying to wait to see Where we buy a house and settle down first before I make the bank move Because um, I just don't want to transfer my funds into a bank that is not available in a place So that's what I'm thinking right now. Let me know in the comments your thoughts I would love your advice and you're probably like why don't you just ask Brian Brian does not care So this is I just need to like tell him what's happening and he's down with it So that's why i'm asking you all because I would love to hear your opinions Anyways, this is my adulting video. Um, i'm exhausted to be honest. There's been a lot of things going on this week and today and I just want to get a good night at good eight hours of sleep that is what i want after like wedding dress shopping my mom was here brian was emotional i was talking about fertility i'm talking about joining our bank accounts it's a lot and i'm tired and i'm exhausted anyways um thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you all next time bye 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 bye